Hey everybody, welcome to the Shack with N2MDX. Today we're going to play around with the Yaesu FT-101D. Um, the receiver on this thing is pretty nice. The VC tune works really sweet. DNR and all that good stuff that everybody's raving about. Um, I do have the 6400 here, so I'm able to compare it to that, or my 890 that I had in the past, or the FTDX 5000, or many, 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 many other radios I've been through in all the years. So let's get into this little... 101 D here and when I say little I'm joking of course so we're on 40 meters um, we'll go up and down the band maybe switch around and play with the DNR and VC tune and uh, what's your orientation so as you can hear you got all that uh, which end is it you know static of course oh interesting wow well you're doing quite good and here's the DNR I don't hear too many of those. This could go up to about 15. Let's try it on 10. <laughs> Not everybody. It's a little I underwater. Worked, uh, I worked 10 European stations yesterday, and they had their hands. You know, I went to the T17 um, and, uh, and the, uh, the several different brands out there. So we'll leave it on two. It's a hot period. Radio, We're going to engage the VC2. No clue. 705 is quite popular. No, no Lock that VFO so that right, I hit well, it. Thanks for joining us today, Bruce. No fear, you're free. I'm going to move the VC tune. Okay, very good. This is a directed net, so please uh, hold on to your knickers here. We'll be taking a lift shortly. KD2 VET, come on in. Ready when you are, Dave. Okie doke. VET? So that's it. Now we're bringing the VC tune back, and here comes all the noise. The VC tune works really sweet. Um, let's try something. Let's try 40 meters. November 2, Delta Romeo Papa from Kilo November 4, India Romeo Mike. No DNR, no VC tune at this moment. I'm going to drop the DNR on. Okay, so that quiet a little bit. We're going to put on the VC tune. Okay. Very nice. You see that? See how clear that got? Oh my God, I love it. I love it. It is phenomenal. Let's go back the other way with the VC tune. Oh, okay, very good, very good. Good to have you again for the log book, and I will see that a little bit later when I log you in tonight, when I put you in my log. Okay, thanks a lot there, Bruce, and uh, look forward to many more. Uh, Happy New Year to you, and uh, hope to catch you again very soon on the band. Take care from KN4 IRM. I don't have any attenuation on. That station is way out there, though. Let's try some amp two, which is 20 dB. So amp one is 10 dB gain. Amp two is 20 dB gain. I don't know if, you, if anybody knows that. It's in the book. Uh, let's see. So we have no no VC tune, no DNR at this time. Back off again. Um, so we're going to go VC tune. Let's 
struck the um, it struck the preamp. To, to, So what I'm noticing here, right? You see the difference on with preamp one. You go to preamp two. Oh no, okay. I thought it was more, less effective, but let's put the um, digital notch filter on. Get rid of that noise. As you can tell, digital notch filter took out the uh, person who does not have a zero beat. VC tune off. Go down a band over here. Does anybody need any additional North Atlantic weather? Over. We got some somebody in the band pass here. Mobiles, so we can always come down a little bit to 2.9. 2.9 DNR DC tune. Okay, nothing heard. Gonna move the antenna further south. Stand by. Back the other way with the VC2. You can see it on the waterfall as it affects the receiver. So there you go. The, with amp two on, that's amp two on with DNR and VC2 to so a little bit to the left here. Including the Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico. Now you want to get really quiet. Let's cut back the RF gain. I'm going to read from the synopsis forecast. Uh, now come back a little bit to VC2. Tropical North Atlantic, including the Bahamas. Let's put RFG in the middle. Uh, Let me see something. 3 1 north to zero west to the Florida Strait. That's too much. Through Tuesday. Then stall we'll cut off the DNR. Of the area. Keep the RFG in here. Behind the front, moderate to fresh north winds and seas. Let's drop of off one of the preamps. Some more gain. The next cold front is forecast to move offshore. Throw back the NR. Listen to that. Tuesday night and may bring strong winds. Sounds like an FM broadcast, right? Quiet. For the Caribbean, the pressure gradient between high pressure in the Central Atlantic and the Colombian low will support. Conditions now let's take everything back off again. Early this week. Generally, moderate to fresh trees will prevail elsewhere. That's how quiet you can get this receiver. That is amazing. I love the radio. I'm glad I purchased it. I am going to get another speaker for the other side. This way we can have, you know, Dolby stereo, I guess, uh, in a sense. <laughs> Surround sound. Um, you could split up your VFOs, whatever. What else can I say about it? Eh, it's awesome, man. It's awesome radio display, touch screen, very fast. I did slow it down, too. Also, a lot of people are like, oh, it's really fast. So if you want to know how to slow down the waterfall like I have it, let me show you how I do that. Um, first off, let me see what my level is. It's 5 point. Uh, let me see something right there. I'll bring it to 10. I want to show you something. All right, so that's on 10. So now you, got, you can see the waterfall. It's flowing pretty good. What you need to do is go into, where is it, it's in scope, right? Yeah, scope. So, you see 2D, 2D display sensitivity? That's the thing. you got to put it on normal because, as you can see, the waterfall is nice, you know? Now watch. High. Depends on how you like it. I mean, it can get a little crazy. Let me see something. Oh, I just don't want to make this one read. I want that to three. Oh, it was on 
sin. So that's pretty good. Like I said, some people think it's the spikes are very fast, but to change that, you just go into the that setting to be normal. And it'll calm down a little bit for you. So it's whatever you like. You like it super fast. Then you go high. So that's that. But I am enjoying the radio. It's a beautiful sound of receiver. A little DNR right there. I love it. So if you're on the fence and you're like, oh, I don't know if I should get the 7610. Listen, 7610 is a great radio. Uh, the only problem is ICOM is still stuck on 2.9. If that does, if you if that doesn't bother you, then then you get it. Me personally, I like bandwidth. Uh, being an SDR guy, I like my 4K. Um, you know, especially when the band is open and there's nobody underneath you or on top of you, you can let it rip a little bit. 4K. Um, you know, if you got friends below you who you like, you now are up to 2.9. If somebody moves close to you and they're being rude, as many hams are lately. Leave it on 4K. I mean, they moved in on you, right? That's just my thing. So, at least you have the the ability to do that. With the ICOM, you don't really. It's like you're stuck at 2.9, so they're pretty much going to crap all over you. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to put a few more videos. I think I'm going to do one uh, soon. With the FT8 on this radio, once I get it going, I do enjoy the FT8. All right, guys, this is N2MDX73s. All the best, and thanks for watching.